Hello all and welcome to RioCAD. Autodesk has released the brand new version of AutoCAD, AutoCAD 2023. Just like every year, we get a new exciting features and some enhancement. So in this video, I will going to explore five major new features and rest of enhancement of AutoCAD 2023. This is going to be a really interesting video. So I will request you to watch till the end. Number one, drawing and layout tabs. The new release of AutoCAD 2023 version introduces a modern look for drawing and layout tabs. It will redesign the look of drawing and layout tabs. New changes to the drawing and layout tabs make it easier to tell which drawing and layout is active. Changes also make it easier to see which drawing is active on the drawing tab overflow menu. Number 2. General Adapting Enhancement in that, first of all, we get a polyline extent. A new grip option, extend vertex, adds a new vertex to your polyline extending from the selected end grip. You no longer have to reverse the polyline direction, but make sure you have drawn a polyline because normal line it will the option it will not shown. It will require a only polyline. The existing add vertex option could add the vertex between the end and the previous vertex. It depended on the direction of the polyline was drawn. Next is multi-leader enhancements. The multi-leader command now has an option to select an existing multi-line text object to use for the new leader. But make sure if your multi-leader style has a default text value, the multi-line text option is not available because if your text is a single line text, the multi-leader command not work. Your text is must is multi-line text. Also, there is a one more option is available. By using that option, you can get easier to add a new leader in a previous one. Next is cut base and copy base command. The new copy base command copies the selected object to the clipboard along with the specified base point and create a one another copy them from the drawing. You can paste the object into a new location using the specified base point. And the another option is a cut base. The new cut base command copies the selected object to the clipboard along with the specified base point but this time it will remove them from the drawing. Number 3. My personal favorite 3D graphics. The technical preview of a new 3D graphics system included in the last release is now fully integrated into AutoCAD. The new graphics system leverages the power of modern GPUs and multi-core CPUs to offer a smoother navigation experience for the larger drawings. When active, the modern graphics system works in viewports using the shaded or shaded with edges using a visual styles. It can be introduce a fast shaded mode. The new graphics system is on by default. It can be turned on or off using a fast shade mode command. It can be also turned on or off by the graphics dialog box. When you type in command line the graphics configuration, you will see a 3D display setting. In that you can found a fast shaded mode option. Number 4. My Insights and Micro Advisor My Insights is information that provided to you to base on your AutoCAD usage. You might see a suggestions for a commands and functionality that you could try along with the other productivity insights. Imagine a scenario where you are laying out a building plan and you need to add a multiple fillets. For that, you need select fillet command, specify a radius and select two lines. But whenever a radius is changed, you can set a fillet command again. However, the micro advisor feature in AutoCAD 2023. AutoCAD is able to recognize a frequent command sequence and then alerts you to the availability of the relevant time saving macro in this case, a macro called multiple fillet. You can see multiple fillet, the recommended macro at the bottom. You will also see a description of the macro as well as other. If you decide that it's relevant, you can save it to the save tab of the command macro palette tab. Finally, from save macro palette, I can right click a macro and add a save macro to the ribbon, which gives me a alternate place to access all my save macros. It can be also added in a quick access toolbar. 
from the save tab you can edit the micro directly from the command macro palette via brand new command macro editor dialog where you can change the name the description and add a custom image from your machine also make edits to the macro syntax directly from the new dialog i can add a new fillet that is 0.5 mm number 5 floating drawing window enhancements based on customer feedback autocad make a few changes in the floating windows right click the title bar of floating drawing window for additional options like move to file tab it quickly return the floating drawing window to main application a floating drawing window can also be a pin to remain in front of main application window also there is another more important enhancements that is a command line window can stay with the active floating drawing window number 6 trace enhancements building on the trace feature introduced last release you can now create traces in autocad desktop in addition to the autocad web and mobile apps share a drawing with traces so others can collaborate on your design you can also contribute to the traces created by others use the trace toolbar to hide and display the trace contributions for each contributor right click a trace on a palette to remove your contribution from a trace number 7 count enhancement one of the most significant enhancement we have made to count feature in autocad 2023 it can be found in the view tab in palettes toolbar it will be ability to define a specific region at your drawing that you want to count you can also specify a count boundary by dragging a box over the area you want to count it will show a exact count in a side menu see our staircase lift and all the mandatory elements show a exact count can be also used by a command which is count but this time we will use a next feature by defining a polygonal counting boundary or by a selecting existing boundary objects but we use a polygonal boundary okay let's check our staircase and variety of columns are show in exact count numbers number 8 markup import and markup adjust The new markup import and markup adjust features use machine learning to identify markups and provide a way to view and insert drawing with less manual effort. Use markup import to overlay a scan or a photograph of a drawing that has hand drawn or a computer drafted markups. Markups can be imported as a PDF, PNG or JPEG file. by clicking on the transparency window you can adjust your drawing window brightness okay so while before ending the video do drop a comment in the comment box which features do you like most in autocad 2023 we are looking for a nice comment and give it thumbs up you can also follow our instagram page at the rate rio cad where you can find all the important updates from the design field thank you for making a part of this video have a nice day